That was really overwhelming, man. Um, you know, I haven't seen my family in a while. But and to see that they're there, show, showing support, watching the games, and even doing that behind my back, it's really, it's really like important. You know, that gives me a sense of like, you know, like I just love my family and I love what they're doing. They're, they're watching me, I got, they're supporting me, and I just gotta keep going for them. It was actually really, really special. You know, I'm sitting there waiting for the introduction, and all I hear is my baby brother. You know, uh, you know, saying my name. You know, such a special moment before the game. It gave me goosebumps, you know, especially, you know, having been, having spent Thanksgiving with them, you know, past three years. So just having that before the game was special to me. And, you know, uh, I just wanted to go out there and make them proud. Reason for that was I didn't I didn't play that much minutes yesterday and um, you know just staying in shape you know getting more conditioning in running um, coach expects that a lot from me this year running the floor at all times and you know gotta get in, my, in the best shape I can so whenever I don't play a lot of minutes I have to go out and put extra work in so I'm ready for the for the, for the next game and the game after that. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, Andre's an outstanding player. I knew him for a long time now. Watched him play in high school. I knew, I, I knew he's a special player. Like, he's a great player, great IQ, really good scorer. And to see him come out there and do that t today, the second game in, it's really, it's really interesting. You know, I'm, I'm watching him. He has a, big ups a great upside, and he's, he's, he's going to keep getting better. Um, you know, uh, with Bello, you know, and Ace, those are two special players, you know. Um, I think the thing is for me, you know, as a veteran, you know, these three games right here, you know, I kind of I kind of want to get these younger guys going, you know, prepare for, you know, bigger games, you know, the Baylors, the Dukes. Um, so to help them, you know, to get them, you know, more shots than me, more, you know, more touches, more looks and more opportunities, you know, just to build their confidence up and help them, you know, develop that confidence when we have to play, you know, really, really talented teams. You know, uh, it's it's very important. So I could care less if I could score Zoe, you know, just watching them go out there, having fun, playing with a smile on their face and just, Building that confidence is incredible. So those are really two good, two talented, you know, players on our teams. And Um, like I said, I've been, we've been talking about it, building our identity. Um, I think the biggest thing right now is, you know, just a lot of communication on the floor, you know, um, almost trying to limit our, our, all our mistakes. Um, you know, our bigs are doing a great job, you know, with communicating with the guards, you know, with ball screens and um, just flying around and, you know, finishing the possessions with rebounds. So I think the biggest thing right now for us, you know, just continue to fly around, just uh, outstanding, playing with outstanding effort and just, um, you know, trying to limit our mistakes on defense, you know, that will help us, you know, getting our transition on offense, like I said, finishing with, with rebounding and, you know, just getting out. So uh, we just got to continue to go, do a good job with that and, you know, just stay focused. Yeah, man, like Trent said, man, it's all about just communicating on the court, you know, being there for one another, doing our principles, doing what we do every day, being everyday guys. And just, like Coach emphasized a lot, just picking up where we left off last year, you know, last year ended really, like, suddenly. And we didn't expect it, and we were, that's when we were at our peak playing defense and offense. And it's just about picking, we're picking up where we left off, you know, that aggressiveness, that dog mentality. It's coming out there every day, facing every opponent with the same mindset, and it's coming out to kill. I think the biggest thing is for me, you know, is just trying to get these other guys to have that same mindset, you know, uh, and I believe we already have, we already, you know, establishing, other guys are already establishing that, you know, um, you know, being able to 
to compete at that high level, uh, you know, when Big Ten play starts, you know, even every game, actually. So, um, you know, that's very important to me, you know, defense, obviously. But um, I can't pl I can't guard everybody. So, you know, just being able to have, you know, the Kofi, you know, the, the Ios, Monte, like you said, Adams, even the younger guy, everybody, you know, on the same page and that mindset of, you know, not not letting their guys score on them. Um, that, that's going to, you know, establish our identity, you know, really, really quick. And it's going to help us, you know, win a lot of a lot of basketball games. Oh, uh, like I said, these first, you know, these first three games, you know, um, this is all about, you know, confidence, you know, helping those guys build their confidence, you know. You know, Bello is a, a very, very competitive player. You know, he competes in, every day in practice with us, you know, and he loves guarding. He loves challenging himself against me, Io, Adam, you know, just getting after it on defense, you know, and that's what that's what's going to make him very special. So um, the best thing I like about him is his IQ, and, you know, his, and his ability to, you know, just learn from the veterans, me and Io and, you know, his competitiveness. So he's going to be a really, really great player for, for this team. And, you know, he's a very good point guard. So I'm really, I'm really excited for him. Um. I'm feeling it every night, to be uh, to be honest. You know, um, I don't, you know, like I said, I don't let uh, miss basketballs, you know, affect me. You know, I'm always, you know, I always gonna play with a smile on my face. You know, I know I can score the basketball. So me, me going 0 for 7 the other night didn't really bother me. You know, I do it on the defensive end. You know, get stops, get steals. You know, bring that energy for other guys. You know, get get other guys going. Um, you know, I had. Five rebounds, uh, five assists, you know, those those type of things, you know, those make me happy. So I know what I can do offensively. Miss basketball is, doesn't bother me. I know what I can do. So um, just being able you know, to be a team player, a leader, you know, just a veteran out there, just continue to be vocal is what's is going to be make me happy every night. So. Yeah, I had no idea about that. Thanks for pointing it out. Um, my mindset going in the, in, into the game is the same as it always been. You know, um, I'm a really big guy. I'm seven feet. Coach expects me to rebound the basketball. So when I go out there and I do it, I'm just doing what I need to do and what I'm capable of doing. It's just about doing that on a high level, you know, doing that each and every game and just dominate every game, every game on, the, on the glass, whether it's offensive or, or defensive. So it's just like a mindset that we got every day, each and every one of us. It's not just me, you know, Trent Frazier too. On the offensive class, whenever he, he he's not going back on defense, all the other players, the fours, the threes, the twos, we all attack the glass, and that's really important for us. That's why we I rebound teams a lot. So it's it's just a mindset about just trying to grab every rebound, limit people, li limit, limiting limiting other teams to one shot, and offensive rebound at all times. That's my guy, man. Um, he's been doing a really good job with me, just getting me in shape, getting my body right. And it's just about, it's, it's just him, like, making sure that every every game, every position I'm in, I'm running the floor really hard. And, like, like extra positions like that where I'm I'm tired and I got to go get the extra effort. Like, those are the plays that he always keep telling me, oh, that's, that's one we got to get. I already established that I could score the ball and I could run the floor and rebound. But, like, the extra efforts where I got to come in when I'm tired and just, and just dig in and, get, and, and, and dig deeper, you know? So it's just about conditioning, him telling me to run the floor all the time. And I, so when I run the floor that hard and, he, and I'm hearing him, run the floor, run the floor. And then I get an offensive rebound. I look at him like, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for reminding me. So like sometimes I get, I get lazy because I get tired and he just reminds me every, every time, run the floor, run the floor, don't stop running. Uh, 
Um, they they uh, they already have a you know pretty good feeling about it. You know, um, they already go they go against you know the best guard in our league and, and probably possibly the country. You know, Io um, every day. So you know, uh, just going against you know me and Io every day. I mean, it it puts a lot of pressure on them. It, cha it challenges them every day, and you know they love to compete. So I think the biggest thing, like I said, um, is them you know just building their confidence right now, finding their groove. And, you know, just finding the, what their, their place at on the floor each and every possession. So, um, like I said, they already know how hard it is going to be Big Ten, you know. Um, you know, so them having that mindset of, of competing every day and, you know, trying to limit their mistakes is going to be, you know, vital for them. Uh, but these these young guys, they ask a lot of questions. You know, they're, they're willing to learn. They, they work really, really hard. So, you know, um, those guys are going to be, you know, really, really good for us, you know, when conference play starts. So. I think the biggest uh, one of the things is, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's very important, you know, limiting mistakes, you know, gambling, you know, try, uh, positioning, being in the right spots at all time, you know, high school, you know, you can back tap, you know, go for lunch, gamble for steals all the time. But, you know, at this level, it doesn't matter what team you're playing, you know, they're, they're going to make you pay for open shots. So, um, you know, they've learned that a lot, you know, um, you know, I've, I've been teaching, you know, Bello multiple skills, how to guard, how to defend the basketball one on one, you know. You know, just being a smaller guy, um, and, but just using our quickness, you know, and just being smart, you know, with, with taking the ball, you know, playing with our hands. But um, like I said, their, their ability to, to learn and adapt quick on the floor is very important. And, and that's what I love about those two young guys, that they ask a lot of questions and they're always willing to learn. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, it's great to um, be playing again. I think we've got a lot to be thankful for this year with a, uh, everything that's gone on. And uh, uh, got off to a better start start today. Um, it was uh, I thought our defense was was really solid early. Uh, again, Adam Miller got going, got a couple easy baskets, and 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 really got us going. Um, give Chicago State a lot of credit. They controlled the tempo. I thought. For the better part of um, uh, of the first half, and, and we couldn't get out and run. We didn't get a lot of easy baskets. Um, the one thing I, I thought we did was establish a little bit of the front of the rim area uh, with foul problems. I think they had three guys with three in the first half, and uh, again, Kofi's a guy, Io's a guy that, that put a lot of uh, uh, a lot of pressure on the front of the rim, so uh, they draw a lot of fouls. So, uh, and then um, you know we got going, Trent got going. Uh, Trent's a guy that, uh, you know, as soon as the game was over yesterday, he knew he missed some good looks and and uh, was in the uh, uh, oven practice facility uh, shooting balls uh, for hours. So uh, we know he's a matter of time. I thought DeMonte was exceptional again. I'm really pleased with DeMonte and Jacob, uh, the job that they're doing on the glass. Uh, it, was a, it was an area that uh, we needed to make sure we were strong in, and, and we were. And it was good to see Corbello get going. Um, again, we know he's a really talented player, and, and uh, uh, we got to see a little bit of that today. So uh, all in all, very pleased. And uh, now we get uh, a very good Ohio team tomorrow. I mean, and he's done that on the world stage with 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 his national team, and uh, you know he's he's a guy. He's still feeling his way. He's trying to uh, take opportunities when they're there throughout the offense. Uh, you know, in the open court, uh, you know he's he's pretty special, pretty electric, and and uh, again we've got to we've got to clean a couple foot footwork things up with him. He's he's traveling a couple times, but uh, um, but again, yeah, he's 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 crafty. He's heady. He sees things. Uh, at least one pass ahead, and uh, but he's he's uh, he's on it, and he's he's a special talent that way. I don't know 
Oh, I didn't feel like we went to the offensive glasses as hard as we did yesterday, and yet, uh, um, you know, we shot 60 percent, and and uh, you know, so there maybe we're we're, we're not going to be as many. But uh, again, it's all we've talked about is the recipe for success uh, late in the season, and and that's defense and rebounding, and and we need to be dominant there, and it it takes everybody. Um, like I said, Demonte, Jake. Um, you know, Iowa 10 yesterday, you know, Adam got involved today. Um, and, and when we defensive rebound, you know, Curbelo, uh, when we defensive rebound, it gives us a great opportunity to run. So uh, we've got we've to continue that. And tomorrow will be a different challenge and, and more size. And, and uh, you know, a team that's uh, uh, known for not giving up a lot of offensive rebounds. And, and, and we'll, we'll be challenged there. Good. You know, I think that, uh, uh, you know, rotationally, he's making a lot of the right rotations. I think that, uh, you know, you, you go into every game a little with some question uh, just because he doesn't have a lot of experience in terms of what his guy can do or can't do. And, and you know, is, is he really quick? And, and uh, but I, th I thought, you know, for, for two games, he's faced really talented guards in terms of, uh, um, a and T, and he saw great quickness, um, and he's been really good. And I'm, I've been very pleased with him on that side of the on that side of the court. They played a lot of man. They played a lot of three-two zone. Uh, they pressed us a little bit, and again, uh, you know, we're a scary team to zone because we shoot it so well. And then we got Kofi at the at the front of the rim. We only ran a couple different actions. We kept it very basic. Uh, so I, you know, I'm 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 liking where we're at, uh, you know, in both areas right now. Yeah, and I'll have to go back and look at the film. I, I felt like today we, we weren't as, as quick to the ball and we weren't maybe as sharp. But, um, you know, I'm always going to nitpick on that side. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for maximum effort and, and uh, you know, I want the perfect game, even though I know that doesn't exist on that side. But, uh, uh, but yeah, it, it's, 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 it, we'll have a great challenge tomorrow. We'll have an elite point guard that uh, – facilitates so you know we'll get a we'll get a great grasp of where we're at after these three games but right now I'm 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 pleased with uh with what we're doing Either that or a lot of a lot of Illinois fans voted. Um, I, I don't know how it was done, but you know I, I think everybody's got a tremendous amount of respect for Trent, and everybody knows Demonte. Uh, I have not seen that, I, and and I got to think you know that Kofi's presence in the middle uh, would have him some there somewhere in there, and then you know Io's Io's really established himself as 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 one of those guys as well. So you know I think we're. Uh, um, deserving of that but yet every night's a challenge and and we're still not there we're still a long way away we've still got some work to do on that side in terms of uh, uh, cleaning things up and our chemistry and and loose balls and uh, you know it worked great the first two nights but uh, we got to continue to keep working on that side that as long as it was long as as long as it wasn't you guys, um, I feel pretty good about it. But uh, no, that's we know we know that, and and uh, I'm excited about that.
No. Um, I, I think every now and then he has a um, – he has an off game. I, you know, I thought that, uh, you know, we've all seen him get going on unbelievable heaters, and and you know, with him, you know, he might be a little bit streaky. Um, you know, I don't like to call him that because I think he's a really good shooter. But uh, you know, when he sees one go down, now watch out because he he's he's got the capability of rattling them off quick, and, and we've all seen that. So, you know, I think for him it was uh, uh, frustrating as heck to. Get off to a bad start yesterday, and man, he was st straight to the gym and and uh, shot a bunch of balls, and and uh, it was good to see those go in today. No, he's still uh, uh, he's still out right now. He's with family back in uh, California and seeing a specialist, and and uh, we'll keep you updated as we move forward with that. Well, I mean, I think that nobody knows Kofi better than Fletch, you know, from a body t type, from a guy who's trained him, from a guy who's uh, involved in his in his nutrition, uh, his hydration. Um, and I think that, uh, uh, you know, he's a guy that uh, Kofi respects and listens to. And, and, you know, so, you know, they have a great relationship. And I think, you know, every anytime, uh, you know, Kofi's got a banged up knee. He played with a sleeve today. You know, there was Fletch giving him a massage and making sure he's got the right recovery. I think he's just a guy that uh, uh, Kofi has tremendous trust in. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, Kelsey Ansfield, and and that was one of the uh, uh, that was one of her ideas, and and we we talked about that. Thought that'd be really cool at Thanksgiving, and and we have no families allowed at our games, and and these guys have been away from their families for quite some time, and um, you know they don't get to see them. They're not here during a time of uh, uh, you know when it's when everybody else is with a lot of family. Uh, and that's one of the sacrifices these guys are making, and and so I'm really proud of them. I'm, you know, I told them today I'd have to be, you know, Grandpa Brad, and and I'd be their I'd be their grandpa. But it's 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 great. That was a nice touch. Um, Kelsey did an unbelievable job, and it was fun to see their reactions and and those smiles on their face. Got a lot of guys that are that are that way now. I think that's why we win. Uh, I think that's why we we were able to turn the corner. Um, you don't do that if you don't have buy-in. Uh, but no, I, Trent's uh, Trent is Trent is all in Illinois basketball. I mean, all in. And uh, you know, there's there's a young man who um, does anything that we ask, everything that we ask, and and sacrifices everything. I mean, just the little play yesterday, giving the ball up to Adam you know, on a breakaway layup and, and, you know, help a young guy get going and, and when he had it going as well and, and he was struggling. Um, that's unbelievable buy-in and, and uh, Trent, Trent loves winning as much as anybody else, but I think we've got a team full of, of that. So I'd, I'd be, I don't want to be uh, putting him as the only one. We've got a bunch of guys that are, they're very committed. Yeah, and again, Jacob's worked his tail off, and uh, you know, I, I was curious coming into this. You know, where 
how he was going to impact us. I, I knew what I thought, and, and uh, but to go out and do it, uh, he's been great on the glass. I thought yesterday, uh, tremendous impact off the bench. Uh, I mean, there was a shot of energy when he went into the game. And uh, again, he's a guy who can, we haven't seen it yet. He's a guy that's very, very capable from three. Uh, very, very good shooter. He's an elite cutter. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm extremely comfortable with him. So it's, uh, uh, it's been, it's been uh, great to see and something that we knew uh, he's a good player, and he was going to impact us, and, and he's done that in a large way. Well, I hope that becomes the case. You know, I think that there's 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 games like this where you know a lot of guys get minutes and they're productive, and and um, you know we haven't been stressed. And um, I hope that's the case. I, we're, we're we're we want that to be the case. Uh, but again, we're in a uh, uh, you know we start we start uh, tomorrow with a with a with a good basketball team and. Uh, you know, sometimes it gets hard to, to play everybody, but you've got to play the guys that uh, that you know and trust, and 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 that's what these last couple of days were about. We're gaining some trust in guys, and and uh, you know, in Jacob's case, uh, man, I he's he's earned that. I know what's coming. They don't yet. You know, they th they might think they're all like this, um, but uh, you know that's that's part of the process. And you know, I think that uh, every freshman has to go through that. It's great that they have the confidence now that that they can go out and play on this stage and and play under the lights and 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 be successful. And uh, uh, and yet, uh, as as the other teams get out here and they get older and they get bigger and 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 more athletic. Um, you know, things will be, they'll have, they'll have their, their hiccups and, and uh, we got to minimize those. And that's one of the advantages of, of, of having veterans and guys that Iowa and Trent and DeMonte and Georgie and Kofi that have all been through those battles now and can help them grow and they don't have to shoulder the load um, them, themselves or, or do that every night. So um, they're going to be great and uh, they're off to a great start and uh, We'll hope that continues, uh, even though the competition steps up. They're capable. The thing those two freshmen don't lack is confidence. So they go right back at those two, and there's some great battles every day in practice, and and uh, um, that work will help them, no matter who we go against. I mean, they can know every single day they're going against all league caliber guys, um, and and some of the best guards in the country, and and I'm talking Curbelo and and Adam going against those two. So uh, I think there's no doubt that helps them, and and gives them that confidence they need to feel like they can go produce uh, against anybody. Yeah, we both we've seen both those guys try to take charges and dive on the floor for loose balls, and you know Trent defensively makes when we grade out makes so few mistakes, and and you know everybody wants to worry about offense and who scores and this and that, and and Trent's impacted both of those guys dramatically on the defensive side, and uh, you know when you're guarding the ball, 
um, you know, there's an art to that and there's a science and it's, and it's hard. And it's tough, and you know Trent's Trent's been phenomenal with those guys in terms of giving them giving them some keys, and uh, you know, and then telling them, hey, you know, sometimes it is hard, and you're going to get scored on, but next time you got to keep doing it, and over the course of 40 minutes, you got to win those battles uh, more often than not. We, I don't know how many assists. What did we have yesterday? 31 assists. Um, you know, I, I think that's one of the things that, that, that speaks volumes for our team is, is, you know, we sacrifice for the guy to our right and guy to our left, and, and we do that uh, so we can win. And, uh, you know, when, when we win, we all win. And uh, that's the mentality that we have in that locker room. And it's, it's tough. It's not easy. Uh, and, and it is sacrifice and it is commitment. And, um, you know, Trent is right there at the top of the list with, it, with, with uh, his ability to, to take care of business so we can win. Um, we can't do anything for the guys. They're eating a little post-game um, uh, meal now, which which will have uh, some resemblance of the closest thing they're going to get to a Thanksgiving meal. Uh, but uh, yeah, then we, then it's game prep, and uh, you know we'll come back tonight and and start working on uh, Ohio a little bit. And um, like I said, I'm there. I'm there. I'm as close as they're getting to family this year. So, uh, but it's it's you know it's unfortunate, but you know our guys are tough, man, and 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 they're they're doing this for a for a great cause, and and they want to play, and so uh, even though it's tough, we'll uh, we'll manage and get through it. It's the way really good players do it. When you look down and you just say, oh, okay, 10 rebounds, seven rebounds, seven assists, whatever. And I mean, he just, you know, he elevates his game to make his, his teammates better. And that's all you can ask for in a, in a good player is to become a great player, making your teammates better. And, and, uh, and you, when you do that, we all win. And, uh, you know, it's easy for Io. Uh, you know, he's playing with so much confidence. Um, and, he, and he can score in a variety of ways. Uh, but when he starts passing and rebounding and, it, and adding that dimension, wow, he's, he's a handful. He is the best guard in the, best guard in the country when he does that. Yeah, I mean he's a quality quality player. I mean he's an elite passer. He's he's a scorer that I think was 15, 16 points a game last year. He's got size. Uh, it'll be a great matchup, and uh, you know I think that uh, uh, you know his his he's a deceiving athlete. Uh, I think Preston's a really good athlete. Uh, so yeah, that should be a heck of a matchup. And as I dive into film uh, more after this, you know we'll we'll uh, we'll get a pretty good uh, pretty good idea of. of of his game. I haven't studied it a bunch. I uh, just watched a little bit yesterday. So, uh, but yeah, I know him by reputation and he's, he's got a big rep. He's got a big rep. 